Good morning. Hello. This is Heather. This is Fab Fridays with Heather. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, give me just a second and I'm going to get my laptop set up here so I can see your comments. Good morning, Shannon. Sorry, I'm just a little bit late. I had a connectivity issue for a second, but we're all good now. Okay, so just one second here to get myself all set up so I can see your comments. Okay, so I see you guys. So hello everyone, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Good morning, Christina. Hey, hey, hey. So, hello everybody. Again, this is Fab Fridays with Heather. Uh, we are doing part two. Hi, Mary, thank you so much for joining us. Um, so we are doing part two of how to use our amazing coastal candy. Um, paint additive. Now this is super awesome. Uh, this is for adding texture, dimension, layers, patina. It's just, it's awesome. And um, if you didn't watch uh, part one from last week, uh, please go ahead and watch that or you're going to be a little bit confused for sure. Um, so definitely um, watch part one if you have not already. Um, so yeah, so today we are out here in my backyard. So welcome to Heather's Backyard. Good morning, Chantel. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, great. So i um, super excited to show you guys phase two of this project. It's going to be awesome. Um, this does need to be a little bit of a quick video. Um, I don't know if you guys remember everything that happened with my refrigerator and all that stuff, but more stuff has broken since then. It's like a, uh, it's been like a cursed appliance month. So anyways, we have uh, repair people here. So at any moment they could be coming around the corner trying to chat with me. Uh, so hopefully that will um, all work out. So I'm going to try to hurry and show you guys what we're doing. So, um, so just to get started, um, with phase one, we used the color Peppy Peacock, and um, I just did the paint additive ratio, which you can find, the coastal candy ratio, which you can find in the video from last week, and I just created these peaks and valleys, and then on the sides, I did actual brush strokes, so you guys could take a look and see what that looks like when it's all finished up. Okay, uh, so what we're going to go ahead and do here, I'm going to try to make sure I've got the comments all good here so I can see everybody popping on. Great. Okay, so um, hence the name Coastal Candy. This is such a versatile pro product. There's so many really, really great things that you can do with this, but hence the name Coastal Candy. Um, using blues and greens and whites all together looks so pretty. Um, it's just a really great way to get a coastal chic look with your furniture pieces and throughout your house. Um, it's also a really great way to hide imperfections as well. So if you have a super cute piece of furniture, has really good bones, but it has a lot of nicks and deep, deep scratches and just a lot of boo-boos and stuff like that, this can be a really nice option um, for hiding all of that, which is great. Um, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and so the way this works is you apply your layer of coastal candy with the um, paint color of your choice first and you allow it to dry completely. And then the next phase is to paint um, a color. Good morning, Jerry. Hey, thanks for joining us. Um, so the next phase of the project is to actually um, paint one coat without the paint additive over the top. And I guess I should put 
an addendum on that. You're never limited to just one color. Like this is absolutely so much fun. So you can do multiple layers of um, coastal candy. You can do multiple layers of color. Um, you can put the coastal candy on and then do one layer, do your sanding and then add more layers in with a brush to get like a really cool effect. Um, so this is something that you're going to want to play around with and definitely have fun. Okay, so because of everything that we talked about with repair people here and appliances blowing up and all that fun stuff, again, I'm just going to get right into it and so that we don't get interrupted. Um, so I am just painting a coat, a, a fairly light coat, it doesn't need to be gloppy, and I want it to dry quickly as well, so I'm literally just applying little tiny bits at a time. I could probably do a little more like that or so. And um, the color that we are putting over the top of the Peppy Peacock is called Beach House. And um, Beach House is a wonderful color for doing a coastal um, type effect. So it's really beautiful. I love this color. And so we are just applying a plain layer of paint over the top of our paint mixed with Coastal Candy from last week. So again, like I said before, if you're coming in now and you're confused about what's happening, make sure you've actually seen phase one of this project from last Friday. So you can get up to speed on where we are at with this project. Now, because the Coastal Candy is, um, I took great care to do lots of peaks and valleys so that we would have a lot of depth and dimension and interest. Um, good morning, my aunt is on. Hi, thank you so much for watching. Good morning, Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you. Um, yeah, so you will often have to kind of push the paint into all those little crevices that are super deep. Be aware of that because it is a rough surface after the coastal candy has dried and when you do this when you use coastal candy which by the way is not limited to this technique in the future we're going to be showing you how to do faux rust with coastal candy how to do raised stencils we're going to have a whole coastal candy series uh, which is going to be awesome because this is such a fun product and you can do so many things um, so that's wonderful Yeah, but when it when it dries, it is pretty rough. So just keep that in mind. All right, and then I did a little bit of a different technique on the sides. I did instead of peaks and valleys on the sides, I did brush strokes, so that I would be able to just kind of show you how the different techniques that you can get um, with with this. Uh, particular technique that we're doing this time. So really fun. So when you're doing um, brush strokes for your technique, then you get these really cool lines instead of like dips and valleys and all that stuff. So sorry if there's noise in the background. I've got uh, children here, summertime, friends staying the night and stuff like that. So just your normal average summertime fun stuff. All right. So I just about got my coat of just regular paint. And um, so, Unlike other techniques, this is pretty much a one coat thing. So when I'm doing my coat over the top of Coastal Candy, um, I just do one coat, I do not do two. And as you can see, our products are incredible and this is absolutely perfect coverage with one coat. So how awesome is that? Okay, good. 
All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and chit chat for a second while we allow this to dry. Um, yeah, so let me just talk to you, and again, this is um, Beach House over the top of Peppy Peacock. Um, so yeah, so just for a second, I wanted to let you guys know, um, so not all of our shabby stylists carry Coastal Candy, but many of them do. Um, so, let's see here. Um, so Shannon, if she could post the link to our um, retailer map, where you can find a retailer near you and you can check to see if your local retailer um, carries Coastal Candy. Um, I know my personal store here in Oregon is fully stocked of Coastal Candy and I believe many others carry it as well. <laughs> uh, so my aunt is saying all she hears is birds but she loves the sound of playing children and I agree. I absolutely love both. <laughs> There's pretty much nothing better than little birds chirping and the sound of little giggles and cute and naughty little girls or boys. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so Lori is asking, what is the brand? So hi, Lori, thank you so much for joining us. I don't know if I've ever seen you on here before, so welcome. Uh, so everything we do here is all shabby paints. Um, shabby paints is the absolute, well, you know, I, I am a representative of Shabby Paints and um, I am also a stylist with Shabby Paints or a retailer, um, but before all of that, I was a customer. Um, so while I do work for the company and I'm obviously biased, I'm biased for a reason. And I'm the reason is because these are absolutely hands down the best products on the market. So Shabby Paints has absolutely no fumes, no VOCs, no heavy metals. They're not tested on animals. They're made in the United States. This is a woman-owned and operated family business, which is phenomenal. And um, yeah, and so our products are even vegan. Um, so you can feel so good about using Shabby Paints in your home. You can feel so good about your health and safety um, using Shabby Paints, which is great. And um, yeah, so that is awesome. So yes, Shabby Paints, hands down. Um, so Shabby Paints is a, uh, so, oh, so this is your first time, Lori. Yes, and Shabby Paints is a chalk paint, yes. It is a beautiful, beautiful chalk matte finish paint. And one of the other things that's really special about our products, Lori, is that we do not use wax products to seal. And why that is a benefit is because, um, and not to slam on wax or anything like that, but wax is very laborious and it's just truly not very protective. It's not waterproof, it melts in the sun, it yellows, it's sticky, um, it t it's a lot of work. You could never paint right over the top of it, you're going to have a mess. Um, so our top coats are a um, our shabby paints matte or satin wax and these are incredible because they are non-toxic, no fumes, again, like the whole spiel, like with the paint, um, dry in minutes, and they are waterproof, husband-proof, wife-proof, toddler-proof. Um, so if you're doing something in a kitchen, grease, steam, all of these types of things, a kitchen tabletop, yes, this is going to hold up to all of that. It's easy to clean, it never needs to be reapplied, and it is just absolutely wonderful and next level. <sighs> Yes. Oh, and Shabby Shannon is saying wax is also a dust magnet and because wax is forever, I feel slightly tacky or at least for quite a while after it's been applied, um, it, it gets grimy. So, you know, patina is great, um, but I like to be able to control my patina. I don't like my patina controlling me. Um, so, <laughs> yes, and my aunt is saying cat proof. Yep. Yep, it's, it's just, it's really good product. Um, so hold on you guys, just a second. I forgot my um, rag, <clears throat> unfortunately, that I'm going to need for this technique. So hang tight for just a second and let me go grab my damp rag because um, we're going to need that uh, as soon as we use the hand sander on this, um, as soon as it's dry. So give me two seconds, let me grab my rag, so sorry.
Okay, you guys, so sorry about that. The damp rag is actually an absolutely essential part of this step, so I had to go retrieve it. So thank you for your patience. Okay. Um, oh, thank you. So um, Barbara, let's see. Uh, Barbara, are, you must be new on here. I don't think I've seen you before. So welcome and thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have been on here before and I didn't see you, so sorry for that. Um, thank you, yes, my yard, I'm so blessed. Um, we have a half an acre and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I love it, it's a lot of work, um, but it's so worth it. So yeah, definitely love having this beautiful big yard. And it even backs up to a nature preserve so no one can ever like build behind my house, which I am so um, excited about. Awesome, okay, so we're just gonna let this dry. Hi, Cheyenne, thank you so much for joining us. So Cheyenne is new here, so welcome Cheyenne, thank you for joining us. Um, we do this every Friday at noon central time, and um, this is all exclusively Shabby Paints product products. Um, so we kind of do different tutorials and techniques and tips and tricks for how to get the most out of using our incredible line of products. Um, so welcome and thank you so much for joining us. Okay, so we're still a little tacky. Um, so we're just gonna keep waiting. So let me know if anyone has any questions um, about shabby paints. If you have any questions about coastal candy and the technique that we're going that we're doing today, um, yeah. So just let me know if you guys have any questions in general, and I'll be watching for that. And then um, while I'm waiting to see if anyone has any questions today. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for sharing this video. I appreciate that. Hopefully it'll make its way to someone that uh, will really love doing this technique um, for sure. Okay, so yeah, so just for a second while we're waiting for paint to dry, I want to talk to you guys um, a little bit about opportunities with our company. Um, so Shabby Paints has is a family owned and operated um, business based in the US. We're actually based out of Tennessee and there is a ton of opportunity right now for retailers and let me tell you guys because of the unique traits about shabby paints that I was talking about earlier, um, in addition to being non-toxic, no heavy metals, all of these beautiful things, no wax top coats that are waterproof, husband proof, wife proof, toddler proof, <laughs> all of these things, super easy to use, dry in minutes, never needs to be reapplied. You can paint over it, um, but it's just next level. So super easy to use, professional products that are affordable. Um, we are also a chalk acrylic. Um, so what a chalk acrylic translates into is durability and coverage. Um, so what you're going to find with our paints is they cure much harder. They are much more, uh, they are much less prone to scratching and wearing off. They are so incredible. Um, so what that means for you is people are going to buy them and it's going to be phenomenal. Um, so we do protected territories. So when you sign up for us, you get a territory that is all yours and no one can ever move in across the street and start selling shabby paints. Um, we cater to everybody. So whether you have a booth space, an actual retail location, if you have an online store, if you do Amazon, Etsy, eBay, whatever, um, we support all of that. And so definitely check us out. Um, hopefully Shannon, um, she is the owner of Shabby Paints and she's just a beautiful soul. So hopefully she can post the link to our inquiry. Um, it's a short form that you fill out and you can see if your territory is available. But ladies or guys, if there's guys on here, let me tell you, uh, if you have a booth space, if you're a furniture painter, if you have a website, you need to be selling shabby paints because these are very special products. I personally feel like they're better than everything on the market and they sell like crazy and you can feel proud selling them as well because they're made with so much love and integrity. So you can feel really good about it. Um, so that's great. <sighs> and then also we have a, um, a, um, 
affiliate program. So if you are a blogger or a furniture painter, but you're not wanting to actually carry paint and sell it and stuff like that, we have a program for you as well that you can definitely check out, which is awesome. Um, there's a lot of perks and benefits to that as well. Okay, so I was just gonna see if we had any other, hi. Um, okay, so Janie, hopefully that's how you pronounce your name. It's our first time watching, so thanks for joining us. And um, let's see here. Any other questions? Oh, lean it up. Okay, so you guys can't see. All right, so I'm going to lean this up so you guys can see what we've done so far. And uh, still waiting for it to dry. Um, so Shabby Paints is really a fast drying product, um, but because of the uh, like texture involved with doing the Coastal Candy, it does take a little bit longer um, to dry than it typically would when you're just painting over um, you know, wood or something that's been painted, etc. Um, so yeah, so we're just still waiting for it to dry. Okay, so my aunt is saying that she has been working on a sideboard and a farmhouse table. Ooh, and she is not totally finished, but she's going to be posting that um, on the Shabby Paints page when she's done. Yay! Good. Um, thank you, actually, for mentioning that. So please post your projects. Um, unfortunately, so on a Shabby Paints Facebook page, we ask that you do post Shabby Paints exclusive. Um, but please, you guys, post your projects to our page. We love to see what you're doing, and we love to support you. And when you post your finished projects on our page, you're inspiring other people. You're giving other people ideas. And we really love having a, um, a collaborative community. So please definitely share that with us. And along those same lines, definitely um, make sure you are... Uh, following us on Instagram. And when you do finish your projects, um, make sure and tag us and tag the colors that you're using and all of that stuff. And also, if you're looking for ideas, if there's certain colors that you love, like you love, uh, like let's say Beach House right here, you can actually do a hashtag search um, for Beach House uh, Shabby Paints and it will bring up all of the projects that people have done in Beach House. So. That's another really fun way to get ideas and inspiration for your projects, which is great. Um, and we just love it. We love to see what you're doing and we love to interact with you for sure. Oh yes. Oh, thank you, Shannon. And then we also have a Shabby Paints support group, um, which is a questions and answers group, which is another community. Um, with that one, you do have to ask to be a part of the group and then wait to be approved. Um, so definitely hop on and do that as well because that is great. Again, it's more inspiration, more people posting their projects, but you can also ask questions and get a lot of um, good support on there from your peers and other people using Shabby Paints as well as our moderators, um, which is awesome. So lots of help on there for you. And no question is a bad question, so at whatever phase of your painting journey you're in, whether you're just starting or whether you have an epic business, and um, we, love, we love both of you, um, so definitely. And um, if you do have a furniture painting business and you use Shabby Paints, please post your um, projects on there and um, use your watermark so we can also help promote your business as well. Okay. So we're still waiting for this to dry, but um, I was just going to turn it around and show you guys. I've been using this little guy as kind of like a little test subject for a few weeks now. Um, so you can also use our Shabby Paints um, satin or matte top coat as a decoupage medium. It literally can work just exactly the same way as like a Mod Podge type of a thing. And so three weeks ago now, we actually did this. Uh, we did a decoupage with our Shabby Paints top coat um, using this cute little shabby napkin. Um, and this is how it turned out. So it's so cute. So 
If you're interested in that and you like doing decoupage projects or you've been wanting to learn how to do it, definitely check that out for sure. Okay. Still waiting a little bit here. All right, so. All right, so I'm not seeing any questions. Um, and if for any reason on here you guys ask a question and I don't see it, please always feel free to post it again. Um, I do try to check periodically, but some of them slip by me by accident, so definitely. Okay. Okay. So we're actually going to start um, with this side right here. On this side, this was, um, I did brush strokes so that we could, uh, so that I could demonstrate for you what the brush stroke looks like um, using the Coastal Candy. Um, okay, so for the past day and a half, I've been looking everywhere for my dust masks. I literally have hundreds of them they are everywhere and I literally could not even find one. So I am going to be doing this sanding on this piece without a dust mask. Don't ever do that. <laughs> like kids do not try this at home without a dust mask. Um, even if you're using natural products, it doesn't matter what you're doing. Please, when you are distressing um, any kind of wood paint, when, a, when you're doing this kind of stuff or you're using a hand sander, protect your lungs um, by using a dust, dust mask. Um, so I am shamefully not going to be using one because I literally couldn't find one anywhere. All right. So I have just your sort of basic little Black & Decker mouse. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Shannon saying, warning, do not try this at home. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't 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 do this without a dust mask. Um, it's just not good for you. Okay, uh, so I have this basic little black and decker mouse. I've got my extension cord plugged in here, and um, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be lightly sanding this with the hand sander to bring out the textured effect that we got from the coastal candy. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a few seconds if you want to mute your phone or your computer or whatever it is that you're doing or if you want to plug your ears um, I'm about to turn the sander on so that's going to be loud and annoying okay so here's your guys's warning I'm giving you just a second all right is everyone ready for a loud and obnoxious sander here yeah we good oh where's the button 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 um oh right here okay So that you can see how cool this turns out. All right, so this right here was doing brush strokes. So when I applied the Coastal Candy, I literally just did brush strokes across to give myself like interesting little lines, okay? Isn't that awesome? Yes, okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So when I applied the Coastal Candy, um, I did it in brush strokes. Yes, on brush strokes on this side too. I did one coat of Coastal Candy over the top, and now we're gonna go ahead and sand it back a little bit. Um, so, you know, you could potentially do this with a hand sander, but it's gonna, I mean, like without a power sander, uh, but you know, it's gonna be a lot of work. So. Uh, these are like $20. They're great. Okay, so everybody, 
Plug your ears. Mute your phone for a second. Here we go. <laughs> much lighter. I didn't do nearly as much sanding. Um, so this is like a really cool thing where you can just have fun getting, you know, so many different kinds of effects. Okay. So this was sanding it a little less. So if you're looking for a little less contrast, you can just sand it back just slightly a little bit less. Okay. Now this side is probably going to be my favorite because this has like oodles and oodles and oodles of texture okay yes and it is dry good okay so all right so now we're gonna do this side and so everybody plug your ears mute your phone mute your computer I don't want to blast you out of here okay so here we go <laughs> Shannon's saying hold my breath because I don't have my uh, because I don't have my mask on so like I said before please wear a mask when you're doing this um, please wear a mask when you're doing any sanding um, just for your health and safety okay you guys check this out this is so cool so this was light so you can go way heavier um, for more contrast, you can do um, you can do so many different things with this. This is incredible. Um, okay, so it's just it's a super fun way to get a really interesting look for your for your furniture pieces. Um, so just really quickly, I'm going to do this top lip and this right here. So you can mute again or plug your ears. <laughs> with the sanding noise okay so now I'm just gonna wipe this back I just did it really light and it just looks so cool okay um, so now when you are sealing this um, with our uh, shabby paints um, Vax <laughs> um, I so typically the best way to apply Vax is with a one of our shabby paints applicator sponges um, but because this has so much uh, texture we're not going to do that because it's really going to kind of rip up your sponge and it's going to be um, a little bit harder to get into the grooves and all of that stuff with the sponge um, so Shannon is saying so beachy. Yes, it is. And so for those of you who may not have heard, um, this is the base coat that I used with the Coastal Candy is called Peppy Peacock. So that's the color that I used. This beautiful, beautiful um, turquoise kind of aqua color. Um, and then the top coat that I used is Beach House. Okay. And we're using Coastal Candy shabby paints okay good okay so I was just going to show you really quickly before we close here um, how to seal this with our top coat okay so I have a little bowl here full of some water because this is a damp brush technique okay and then I have a little bowl here to put some of my shabby paints matte wax in so with all of our products, whether that be the paint or our Vax products, um, or really any paint product, um, shake or stir well um, because paint does settle. Okay, so just shake it up really quick. And then, so typically I use like a, a quarter sized amount at a time when I'm sealing a furniture piece. But again, like I said, because of the texture, um, 
it, it takes a little bit more to seal the coastal candy, I think. But like I said before in previous videos, painting is intuitive. Play around with it and see what works for you, okay? All right, so right here I have a very abused uh, Klingon S50 brush, so don't, don't judge me. <laughs> this is an awesome brush. I absolutely love it. Um, most of our shabby paint stylists carry the Klingon line. These brushes are handmade in Holland or Berlin or something like that, and they're beautiful. Um, they limit brush strokes. They're absolutely phenomenal. This one has been used a ton, so I apologize for its condition. Um, okay, so I just got my brush damp, and I'm just putting a tiny bit of product on the tip of my brush. And I'm just working it in to make sure that this piece is going to be sealed, it's going to be waterproof, it's going to be uh, able to withstand the test of time and be a part of your home for a very long time. And most of our, I mean, our products are so incredible. It really does take very little paint and very little product. So I used two dips to seal this entire thing. So sealing the side over here where um, we did the, um, the uh, brush stroke technique is much easier um, because it's not quite as thick. So yeah, that's it. I mean, literally, we're done. Um, so the really cool thing about this, yep, and now this is ready for the outdoors. So I live in Oregon where it's rainy, where it's messy, and, you know, it's just like, I don't know, seven or eight months out of the year, it's dark and rainy. Um, and I've painted so many things with shabby paints, and they hold up in the weather beautifully. Actually, I'm going to move out of the way. I don't know if you can see it from here, but I have a chicken coop back there painted with, I don't, I think right, right there. <laughs> um, probably can't see it very well, but that's okay. Uh, that I did with dress blues and it's held up against the Oregon weather and it's still looking really cute and really fresh, um, which is awesome. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we also have our Shabby Paints Revax um, products, which are um, a combination of a stain and a glaze in one. So they can be used to stain raw wood as well as give their like the equivalent of a dark wax but without all of the baggage. Um, so what's great about that is if you want to come in and give this some more depth and dimension and interest, you can do black or hazelnut or driftwood revax and just give it a little patina and a little extra something something which looks so cute. Okay, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do the little Vanna White thing here. Um, so cute. So, you know, this is just so fun for like putting on the kitchen table. You can have like napkins or just different things in here. Um, I could put mason jars in here for flowers. I mean, it's just endless the things that I could do with this cute little piece. And um, yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this was helpful. And um, anyways, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for supporting Shabby Paints on our mission to make the world more beautiful, more healthy, and more awesome. And um, definitely check us out every Friday for Fab Fridays with Heather at noon central time here on the Shabby Paints Facebook page. Okay, all right you guys. Have a beautiful blessed week and I will see you next Friday. And then the Friday after that, my grandma is in town. So we will not be having a live video, but I will remind you again next week. Okay, Mwah. thank you.